wasn't that nice. Now back there, there's some shells and shit, but this is the important thing right here. December 8th. That's, that's the temperature I need, or the number I need. Dedicated to the facility's completion. So the answer is 12.8, or 128 degrees. Now, back here, turntable key, yeah, very good, and the file, secret passage note. Alfred has no problem killing a bunch of people. Yeah, he was a sick fucker. Diorama trick. Well, then why the hell did you put this here? I mean, shit, if I can figure it out, anyone else can, you know? I'm a dumbass. <laughs> Three armies. Yeah, I gotta go back and get those goddamn proofs that Claire used earlier. You know, remember where they're at? Yeah, they're in the airport. The turntable key we're able to get outside, so that's a good thing. And get down there. Do I take this ink ribbon? I don't know, do I? I guess I do. is back down to chem storage, I believe. I don't know why I'm even bothering looking at the map. <laughs> Thinking, where do I go? I know where I'm going, but I don't know where I'm going. So maybe that's why I'm looking at the map, because I know where to go, but I don't know where to go. It's like I know what room I want to get into, but i uh, thinking, how do I get there exactly again? Which, which way gets there relatively fast, where I don't look too fucking retarded. Something like that. I don't know. Yeah, get on the elevator, stupid. Okay, this looks promising. I think I'm going the right way. See, Chris. Wesker? He's still alive? <laughs> what are you doing here? I came for Alexia. Who? An organization hired me to capture her. Wait. You attacked the island. And my sister. Ow. I hate you. You destroyed my plans. So now I've sold my soul to a new organization. Now die. Here's a little secret, Chris. I figured out that your sister is now in the Antarctic. 
with Alexia. It's too bad you won't be seeing her again. <laughs> Alexia? <laughs> This asshole again. Which takes some bullets to kill him because I don't have the, uh. I think I switched guns. I don't have the bow gun, so we're gonna have to use the shotgun on him. Hey, stop that. Asshole. That's right. Banner snatches are assholes. You guys remember that. Although I think that was the last one in the game. Uh, I'm done with the game now. So yeah, yeah, that was the last one in the game. But I like that. Wesker gave up, totally gave up his per the perfect opportunity to kill Chris. The best chance he ever had. Right there. Just because Alexia happened to show up at that particular moment on the monitor. I guess Chris is lucky. Now, I could use the turntable key here, but I decide I don't want to do that yet because that would make sense. See, if it makes sense, why would I do it, right? No, instead I go in here. Well, I gotta go in here anyway and get this, uh, whatever it is, this shit. Set the temperature. Yeah, set the temperature. Now I fuck it up. I'm stupid. For some reason I think it's, you know, November 8th, but it's December 8th. Yeah, you dumbass. You know, it's December 8th, which is 12, not 11. Yeah, if you don't know your months, you're gonna be looks like a yeah. If you don't know your months, you're gonna look like an idiot, like I just did. There, now I have this shit. There's another one I have to get though. Uh oh, another hunter. This one's a variation. It has the ability to poison you. And that is bullshit. Thankfully I'm not poisoned, that would really piss me off. But as, as if the hunters needed to be able to poison you too. I mean, they're already dangerous enough, right? <laughs> Thankfully there's only a few of those red ones in the game. Now, I could go under the turntable and go and get that shit, but I'm just not ready to do that. For one, yeah, I'm in shitty condition. I'm hurt. And for two, I need to clean my inventory out. So, what I'm going to do is go back and make a save and take a break. I believe that's what I'm doing here. Although, you know, it would have made sense for me to go that way, but I don't think I have enough inventory space anyway, even if I wanted to. I need at least three slots just to pick those damn things up. Plus whatever else I may pick up on the way over there, you know. Now this hunter is mysteriously gone. Strange, huh? Yeah. So I didn't have to kill it. Not that I'm complaining, mind you. Put this shit in here, because I don't need it yet. Yeah, I'll be using that next, but... Did I grab the ink ribbon seat? What are you doing, stupid? Making a full heal, apparently. I'm sure I'll be using it sooner than I want to. Yes, make a save. Damn it. Alright. And I'll be back later. And we're resuming now. 
Now, I just watched Pandorum again for like, you know, the seventh or eighth time. Honestly, I think that movie's horribly underrated. It's pretty, pretty cool overall. A G-Man calls it Resident Evil in Space. Which, eh, yeah. I said to him, you mean it's more like Dead Space? And he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, which it is. It does, it has a lot of elements of it, but... Anyway, you know, a lot of people, I think, hate that movie because they don't understand it. It's one of those films where, you know, even if you think you're paying attention, you can miss so many things. There's so many things I missed the first time I watched it. And, you know, at the end, it still makes sense, but you're like, how come I didn't catch this earlier? At least that's what I was thinking. How come I didn't catch on to this earlier? It was after, And then when I watched it the second time, it started to make sense, and earlier on, sure, I knew, because I'd already seen it, what the ending result was going to be, but, you know, there's all these little clues in the film that kind of point out to what's actually going to happen. You know, tonight marks like the seventh or eighth time I've seen it, and, you know, just these subtle little hints there, really, that a lot of people wouldn't catch. Like, when he's checking the mold on the walls and such, or sees the spider in the duct in the beginning, things like that. I mean, what the hell would a spider be doing on a spaceship, especially in an air vent or something like that? You know, things like that, that kind of led up to the whole grand scheme. Anyway, I think that movie's highly underrated. It's just badass, but then again, I like move horror movies, so that's to be expected. I mean, Pandorum is a survival horror movie. Anyway. Currently, I'm watching Outlander, which is also an underrated film. I mean, well, Jim Caviezel's just great. I think, yeah, I've already talked about how awesome his acting is in some of these other, some of my other videos, but in, in this film, he's definitely brilliant as well, and the whole, the whole, the whole Viking plot and monster and all that shit. It's just awesome. I love it. Anyway, what am I doing here? I think now I can finally get that bogon powder, which is what I believe I'm attempting to do here. I've been going for two and a half minutes and haven't even talked about the game yet, so I suppose we probably should. Fuck that. Anyway, yeah, remember I was trying to think, figure out how to get this earlier? Yeah, well now you can finally get it, after moving the turntable up. So let's just go ahead and grab that. Okay, progress, even though Chris can't do anything with it, because who has the bow gun? Why, Claire does! And... Now I'm out here, and how come I can't hear the fire where I'm standing? I mean, is there not fire burning right there? Oh, there's the fire effect. I guess I'm going in here first. Oh good, more walkers. Right in my face, too. Thanks. I see some shells on the ground there, it looks like. You would grab me, just to be an annoying prick. Excuse me, I'm trying to kill your buddy here. I'll get to you in a second. Wait your turn. Oh, danger. Beautiful. Thank you. Well, just, yeah, I knew it was gonna happen eventually. That's why I was carrying the red-green. You better be dead, fuckbag, because you know what, I just don't feel like getting my foot grabbed right now. It's been a very rough day. Let's just go ahead and help ourselves to the shells. Thank you very much. Which were conveniently not there when Claire was here, so somebody must have come in here during, in between the time and just said, Hey, let's throw some shotgun shells here. <laughs> right? Although, for the most part, if you take something in Claire's game, it won't be there for Chris, but that was an exception there. Yeah, switch to the knife. Finish him off. Just because I'm low on handgun rounds. I could carry more ammo, but for some reason I'm just too lazy. Yeah, acid rounds! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Those make me really happy. I can eliminate some hunters now. <laughs> I think there's a file there, but I guess there isn't. And those acid rounds were apparently not there in Claire's game, even though that locker was sticking out in Claire's game, as I pointed out in one of my earlier parts. Like, remember, I was like pointing at it and saying, doesn't it look like there'd be something in there? Yeah, there is. There was something in there. But it just was inaccessible at that point. Okay. This asshole is obviously not dead. Where's my knife?
Oh, you shit eater. You know, just once, I'd like to not get grabbed by one of those fuck bags. Anyway, let's move on. I think I'm going down... The only way I can go, down the ladder. Yeah, I like to carry the knife in the Resident Evil games, too. I mean, well, from 4 up, you, you automatically have the knife, and it doesn't take an inventory slot, but 1 through 3 in this game, you know. Although you're gonna find out real quickly what I think of the knife in RE2 when I get to RE2, but in 1 and 3, I like the knife. And in this game, I like the knife. Because it, yeah, some of you might think, why are you carrying the knife? It's just fucking waste of inventory space. Well, I'll just show you why I carry the knife. Hell. These assholes puke at you, which is annoying. I think it actually hurts, but... I don't think I need to explain why I carry the knife. It's pretty obvious why I carry the knife. I mean, in my RE1 walkthrough, which I finished recording a couple days ago, stop puking shit at me, you ass ranger. I think I carried the knife almost the entire game. Up until the point where, like, you know, the gun became, handgun became useless. Ugh, these fuckbags knocked me into caution. Whatever, I'm in caution all the time anyway, so I just don't care. But, um, yeah, I carried the knife damn near, right up to the point where, about where the handgun became useless. Because at that point, it didn't matter. You know, you're dealing with bigger shit, you're going to use bigger weapons. Why would you carry a knife around? I do stop carrying it in this game, too. I just can't remember where. It's probably near the end. Actually, I think I stopped carrying it, and then it turns out that I need it again for something, and I'm not carrying it, but, you know, I carry it the whole game. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, yeah. I, here's an idea. Let's drag him back up here and, and let him puke on me again. That's a good idea, Chris. Let's go ahead and do that. Actually, I really like what they did with the knife in RE4 and, and RE5. How it's just like an alternate, you know, you don't have to switch, go into your menu, switch to it. You just hit the other button, the other <laughs> face button, or the other trigger button to switch to it. You can immediately attack with it. There's another one, I decide to ignore him. I'm just not in the mood. Yeah, fuck that guy. Remember how I said that switch there when you... Oh, shit. Hello, Mr. Hunter. Where's my launcher? How dare you sneak up on me like that, by the way, you dirty fucker. Two acid rounds. That frustrates me. Yeah, they got a health boost. And in the first game, it takes one. <laughs> Actually, I think over the course of the games, the enemies got stronger. You know, I was just playing the first the first game, you know, it's like, okay, a zombie will die in five, three to six bullets. You know, six being, like, the most. And, you know, one acid round. For, yeah. Then you move on to RE2, and then all of a sudden, enemies, zombies are taking five to eight bullets to kill. And, you know, two acid rounds for shit like that. Yeah, I think they, the enemies progressively got stronger, but at the same time, the amount of ammo you had and the weapons you had got bigger and badder. With the exception of the knife, which was turned into a complete piece of shit in RE2, and I still don't know why Capcom did that, and I'm glad they never made that mistake again, but I'll bitch more about that when we get to that point. Chris can modify his handgun here, as I pointed out in Claire's walkthrough. Now the enhanced handgun. It gains no additional magazine capacity. I don't even know what it does. I think it gains a critical hit chance. I think. Somebody can probably correct me on that, but otherwise I really have no idea what it does, enhancing his handgun. Reloaded it for me, though, which was nice. Because I only had seven bullets in it, and I got that other compound that I needed. Yeah, I'm checking it now. It's a modified Glock 17. Yeah, that's useless. It tells you nothing. It just tells you that you've it's modified. <laughs> I mean, other than the fact that it reloaded the gun for me, you wouldn't know what it did. Because, you know, checking it doesn't tell you anything. Oh yeah, I speculate that it gained a critical hit chance. But, 
I don't know. Could be wrong about that. That's what I needed to do down here. Not so much modify the handgun, but get the uh, other compound, but I modified the handgun too, just because. There's another one too? Fuck it, I'll just run right past him. I'm not wasting my time on these idiots. That's yeah, actually funny. In this game, I kind of avoid a lot of enemies, but shit. Well, not as much as I used to. Back in the day, I used to sp spend more time dodging zombies than killing them. But if I have to go back through an area more than, like, twice, then I'll kill them. I don't know. It just depends on how much ammo and all that stupid shit. But I don't have to go back down there again, so what was the point of killing them? There is none. Where am I going now? Why, it looks like I'm going outside. I don't know if I'm ready to go outside, though. Or I'm just looking at the map going, I retarded. I don't know where I'm going. Dude, seriously, what are you doing? Maybe I'm putting a cigarette out, I don't know. Or lighting one, I don't know. Speaking of, yeah, let's light one. Yeah, obviously I did not do live commentary for this entire game. Yeah, I talk about that, in, <coughs> excuse me, in the first Resident Evil that I'm working on. I started live commentary with that game also, but actually only made it about halfway through the game. Because, you know, what I like to do is play the play these games and just start recording or whatever, and I can only talk for about an hour or so, then I gotta take a break. Even then, oh shit, yeah, I get scared here and leave. <laughs> I, I didn't remember those two hunters being there. I have to run back down below for a minute. Since I have no healing and I'm in orange caution. But, um, what I'll do is, I'm, you know, I'm not just going to sit, if, you know, if I've got a lot of time to play, I'm not just going to play for an hour, do live commentary, and then just stop playing altogether. No. I would have, if I've got the time, you know, usually on weekends or whatever, then I'll just keep playing and keep playing and keep playing. So I'll do the live commentary if I'm going to do it for that game in particular. Until I can't talk anymore. And then I just like, fuck it, shut the mic off, but keep the recording going. That, or if I can't do live commentary because I'm expecting a phone call or something or what, then I don't do it either. But I don't know. Although I will tell you guys, I'm keeping God, the God of War. God of War will be done by the time this is posted. I kept that live the whole time, just because, with the exception of a couple places where I had to make do some editing. But other than that, yeah, that stayed live. That's the only game that actually pretty much stayed true to, stayed live. But, nah. Why am I talking about this? No one gives a shit. Let's go up the ladder. Yeah. I totally forgot about those hunters. I'm actually going to try and avoid them, but being the fact that I'm in orange, one more hit will put me in danger, and avoiding them just won't happen. Oh, good. Let's see here. Yeah, what am I doing? What? What? I don't, what? What are you doing? <laughs> okay. Sometimes even I don't make any sense. Like, like what the... what? Like, why, why do I still have those bowgun arrows? Yeah, I need that shit. Although I don't think I need it on my person right this very moment. Wow, I realized that. Way to go, stupid. Definitely don't need the bowgun powder. I'm trying to figure out where to put this garbage. There we go. Look at how big this item box is, too. Are there even that many items in the game? I mean, look at how much I... Look at how... All the items I have. And then look at how little it's scrolling. <laughs> Seriously? I mean, that's actually kind of funny, because in the first game, you know, I'm playing through the first Resident Evil, I filled my item box. Completely filled it. I mean, I went, you know, like... You guys may have noticed how I do this. It's kind of fucked up how I sort. I go up with recovery items and down with, you know, weapons, ammo, and key items. But anyway, my recovery items and my other items met in the middle because I'd filled it. The boxes were the boxes were small in the first game, and they got bigger, but I think they might be a little too big. I mean, come on, Capcom, we don't need 500 spaces. <laughs> 
you know, 200 is okay, but 500? I, I don't know about that. I guess I'm gonna make a save now. Eighteenth save, and I'm still on the island with Chris. <laughs> yeah, there's gonna be a lot of saves. Although, to be perf to be fair, yeah, I haven't played the game in many years, everybody knows that, that's no big secret, but... This one, I didn't even do a quick playthrough before recording, I just started recording it. I'm just gonna pop it in play and start recording. RE1, I did a play a couple playthroughs, and then I recorded it. Just so I could get it done in a fairly timely manner, I mean... You know, I'll do that with RE2, and R 3 and 4, and 5 also, but... Just so I can re-familiarize myself with the games, but... I ain't gonna go for any speed runs or any of that bullshit. I'm just gonna play the games and have fun, you know. In fact, I am working on an RE2 run right now. Well, no, I'm actually w sitting here commentating this video and watching Outlander right now. As a matter of fact, that is what I am doing, but, um... The fuck was I saying? I totally lost my train of thought again because I'm an idiot. Oh, yeah, RE2. I was playing RE2 earlier. And, uh, I have to say, I'm nowhere near as fast as I used to be. I think, like, two and a half hours into the game, I'm finally at the Umbrella Lab. You know, in my prime, back in when the game came out, I could be there in an hour. <laughs> you know? So I'm not knowing what I needed and all that shit. I mean, the game's not hard or anything, but it's just, yeah. It, it, it's really short when you know what you're doing. So we're gonna go in here again, try and avoid these hunters. Look at that shit, I'm in danger again. What a bunch of ass rangers. Go ahead and use that now before you get killed, dumbass. Excuse me. Oh, shit, can't go through that door. Stop that. Stop that. Yeah, what a bunch of fuckbags. But we're gonna go here now, onto this lift. I gotta say, Sophia Miles looks really good in this movie, too. I do like... Uh, uh. Anyway, back on topic, dumbass. Get out of the elevator. Well, I'm on an elevator ride. What the hell else am I supposed to talk about, right? I don't know, if you guys haven't seen Outlander, you wouldn't realize it, or even know what I'm talking about. That's why I left those greens there, so Chris could pick them up. No, I really just overlooked them when I came through here as Claire. Another item box here, great. Maybe I'll want to use that since the hunters just said hi. I could have killed them, because I do have to go back through there. But I only have to go back through there one time, and I just didn't want to use the ammo on them. Besides, being that there were two of them, damage is probably unavoidable. Unless they were both directly in front of me. I was, you know, going for one, I'd get hit by another. There's another one! Jesus Christ. Oh! Instant win! Okay. I guess it is a one-shot kill at close range. Here I was thinking two shots, but maybe it has something to do with distance. I didn't realize that acid rounds had damage fall off. Now, I expect that with a shotgun. But with acid rounds, why? Why do they have damage fall off? Unless it has something to do with the hunters having variable health totals, just like the zombies and every other... Yeah, that's the... that's the... Just, you know, dumbass. I am a dumbass. Yeah, the hunters will have variable health, but... And apparently that number can go above the acid rounds damage. Which is strange, but anyway. I guess we're gonna go in this door here. Claire was in this room. Yeah, she did that oil pressure puzzle thing. Oh no, I guess I have to do this. Supply oil to the tank is increasing blah blah blah. 